Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's been said that even a blind squirrel gathers an occasional acorn, and uh, today I'm going to show you my acorn. This was a beauty that was offered to me. Uh, I got an email, and uh, this just came out of the blue. And uh, this is a Silvertone Model 6038. And this is one I've never seen before. It's uh, kind of nice. It's got a built-in AM radio as well as the 45 player. Of course, it's got the standard RP-190. And uh, we're just going to show you from the side. It's obviously a suitcase model. That's one side. That's the other side. And uh, we're going to take a look inside. Bear with me here just one second. And it's really, really nice. I mean, there across the back it says Silver Tone. There, of course, is going to be the tuning control. We have the radio phono control, tone control, and volume. Standard RP-190. And as you can see, it's an overall really nice condition. This was a, a real treat for me. This is a keeper. I enjoy the 45 players with uh, built-in uh, AM radios. Um, I don't know why. It's just something that I enjoy collecting. And um, let's uh, get this thing going here and we'll show you what it's like. I'm going to put a couple of records on. The first record is going to be Seven Little Girls Sitting in the Back Seat by Paul Evans. It's on a collectibles record. And the other one is going to be Why Do Fools Fall in Love by Frankie Lyman. Frankie Lyman, we'll get that out yet, on a roulette. And um, understand once again that this is not for the content of the music, but rather to demonstrate the player. So let's give her a whirl here. scarce model. I've never seen this one. This one was new to me. I didn't even know it existed. It has to be somewhat rare.
Alright, I'm going to grab the arm here and uh, then we'll go to the radio section. Um, as a point of reference, because I did tear this down and uh, rebuild it, this was built in 1956 for Sears. That's why the silver tone label, obviously. And um, it is rebuilt. I went through and replaced all the capacitors, and uh, there's a new cartridge in there, and um, new rubber, and so forth. And I, I love it when people will ask, you know, <laughs> after you've told them you've restored it, they say, Did you replace the capacitors? Well, you know, that's part of what you do when when you're restoring something you know uh, when you're when you're doing that it's like uh, you know taking a crap and not wiping yourself afterwards you know you're gonna do that it's just what what you do when you're re in, when you're uh, restoring these things so let me get on over to the radio section could have helped to stop the carnage of April 15th but that it could have been averted not course, just by one mistake made by the United control. States or one mistake made in Russia but instead by making sure that both countries were working together at a much higher level Fox is Molly Lyon you're listening yes has faced the nation news workers search flooded areas for missing residents and government. Well obviously you see that the radio is working. Um, we're going to have a storm here pretty soon. I can hear the lightning in the air and of course this is daytime so you don't get a whole lot on the radio anyhow. So there you go. Another beautiful piece of 50's history. The model number again is a 6038 silver tone player made in 1956. Hope you enjoyed seeing something different. This one is a new one for me.